Welcome one, come all. Step right up and welcome to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Okay, okay. I'm just going to start at full throttle, just the way the greatest showman does. I absolutely love this movie. And I don't care who knows, all right? Now, I understand it's not going to be for everyone, but my job is not to predict whether you will like any given film. My job is to report what I saw and how I felt, and I saw a big, bold, modern movie musical with a rich core of catchy, tuneful songs that wears its heart and its Broadway sensibilities right there on its lapel. Put another way, there are two kinds of people in this world, those who love Moulin Rouge and those who can't stand it. If you are in the former category, then The Greatest Showman is going to hit you directly in your big, swooning, romantic heart. This one is going to inspire teenage drama club members across the country to create their own restaging of certain scenes in their bedrooms for years. However, if you are cynical, or if you walked in expecting an actual fact-based biopic of P.T. Barnum, master promoter, huckster, and to hear him tell it, inventor of show business, well, then you're probably going to be a little disappointed. Because this is not a biopic, this is a legend. Something more akin to a fairy tale, with Barnum playing the role of the dreamer who wishes upon a star. Whether this is historically inaccurate is actually kind of irrelevant. First of all, Barnum would have totally approved of the deviation from the facts in service to the building of the legend. And secondly, well, there's just no room for realism in a movie where people burst into song at every turn, hit high notes while running down the street at full speed, and dance on rooftops while hanging laundry on the line dances right along with them. Other than the music, which is very catchy contemporary pop, The Greatest Showman is pure, old-school, sugar-coated Hollywood magic, and I was swept away from the first minute. Credit for the illusion must be given to a cast full of incredibly talented and dedicated performers, some of whom, like the Broadway veteran Hugh Jackman and Disney musical stars Zac Efron and Zendaya, we already knew could handle the singing and dancing requirements, while others, like Michelle Williams, completely surprise us with their abilities. And heck, Rebecca Ferguson delivered what I would have considered the most shocking musical performance of all in an absolutely killer song until I discovered that her singing performance was dubbed by another singer. But uh, no matter. She's great, the movie's great, and I couldn't tell the difference in the moment. Look, you'll probably notice that I haven't described much of the film's plot. And really, there's no need. The Greatest Showman is really more of a collage, a collection of interesting but not terribly deep characters whose emotions are fleshed out in big, splashy musical numbers spread out on a very wide canvas that at less than two hours never outstays its welcome and sends you out to the car tapping your feet and humming a jaunty tune. It's amazing to me that this many great tunes, these written by the duo Pacek and Paul, who just won Tony Awards for Dear Evan Hansen and won Oscars for their lyrics to City of Stars from La La Land last year, found their way into an original movie musical. Heck, even Moulin Rouge had to sample pop hits, and La La Land didn't have this many original songs. It was a big risk, and it really paid off here. It's also amazing that this movie marks the feature film debut of its director, Australian Michael Bracey. His sensibilities are just spot on here, and this movie is a bold statement that will hopefully kickstart a long career. I award the greatest showman an extra large bag of popcorn. Now, your mileage may vary, but this is exactly my kind of movie, and it's done very, very well. If you saw the trigger, with its bearded ladies bursting into song and lovers singing their feelings while performing acrobatics and staying amazingly on tune while doing so, and thought that this was your kind of movie, well, let me tell you, it's exactly the kind of movie that you were hoping for. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on The Greatest Showman in the comments as well, so let me know what you thought. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me, baby.